The tenth speaker is Ms. Yurie Inagaki, representing Yosha University. The title of her speech is Revitalize the Heartbeat of Sea Lives. Revitalize the Heartbeat of Sea Lives. Would you now welcome Ms. Inagaki? The second suggestion is for you, 
the audience. Let's go through seafood with these eco labels. Eco labels appear the products certified as eco friendly products. Each time, two organizations, Marine Trust Council and Marine Eco Label Japan, provide the certification. They check that the fishing is done very carefully for the marine resources. Distributors are also checked and certified. And we consumers can also take part in the resources protection through eating seafood caught by sustainable fishing. Moreover, we can support the fishery industry by preventing overfishing. Plus, there is other knowledge for the consumers. We can pick up not only the friendly but also safe seafood. It is because we can see how, where, and when the fish is caught. Now, Eon and the Consumers Cooperative Society deal with equal level products at a reasonable price. Unfortunately, eco levels are not well known in Japan. According to the Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry and Fisheries, only 13% people know about the levels. Therefore, more supermarkets should actively deal with eco level products. I often feel that there are only a few places to get information about the Malay emergency. With these levels, Supermarkets will become places that inform us about the emergency. The fishery resources are different from the fuel. They are alive and they can bear new lives. We cannot make oil, but we can increase the number of fishes by protecting the resources. It is said that we are the last generation that have the chance to revitalize the oceans as they once were. I'm here to let you become a double warning that makes a big way to tackle this emergency. As many a little double water makes an ocean, our little effort will make the ocean full of the heartbeat sound again. Imagine the wonderful world under the sea. Imagine enjoying eating sushi with fresh seafood. Now, please think again what we can do to save our ocean. Thank you. We <laughs> now have a question and answer period. Please, Oishi, please. Hello, Yuri-san. Thank you very much for your speech. Um, in your speech, you mentioned about the journal science that uh, by 2048 we may lose all of them. Is that really true? And do you believe it? Or, um, yeah, can you tell me about it? Uh, to tell the truth, I think that uh, it is, uh, it's, this situation is very rare to happen. But I think it suggests that if we continue this situation, the such situation may become true. And now this situation is very serious as to make such situation. So uh, it is my idea and opinion. Well, what is the difficulty to change the situation now? <coughs> what? To, as you as you mentioned in your speech, we need to change the situation somehow by taking action. Or, but are there any difficulties? Uh, difficulties. Yes. Or hurdles. Hurdles. Or we might face to change um, the situations. It is a uh, hurdle is that we have few chance to know about this emergency. The uh, it is because the, um, we can't see under the sea and all the, street, the emergency occur in under the sea and we can't see it. So the, in Japan, little, little chance to get the knowledge of this emergency. So it is hard to, to tackle this problem. It's difficult to know the reality itself. Yeah, I think 
Do you have any idea to, to find the reality somehow? Uh, I think the equal levels are one of the way to know this emergency because we if we when we see this level of supermarkets we can realize that we have to change this situation to solve this problem. So this is the one way to solve this so this problem. Mm, so you can change the people's awareness. Yeah. Mm. I see. Uh, uh, you, you mentioned uh, in Japan, two organizations are already taking action to it. How about in other countries? Um, mainly the MSC, the Mali Trusted Council, uh, is, uh, is popular in other countries because the, the Mali for Labor Japan is only Japanese organization, so mm -hmm. MSC is very popular for other countries. Japan is a country that is surrounded by OSHA. And right? And how about have you have you researched the situation in country like Australia or New Zealand, which has a similar situation as Japan? Uh, the Norway is very similar situation. Mm -hmm. In 1970s, mm -hmm. and they, as I said in my speech, they succeeded to resolve fish stocks. Mm -hmm. um, it is a good, I think it is a good example for Japan. Mm -hmm. Norway, the example of Norway. Norway. Yes. So you, you did really research about Australia, Norway. Uh, I researched about mm -hmm. Australia, yeah. and they took, uh, they follow ABC limit also, and they are now trying to resolve fish stocks and they. Action now, it's an action. Sorry, time has come. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, you. Mr. Nagaki, and Ms. Oni. <laughs>